everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make five vegan and budget-friendly Mexican-inspired recipes, all for under $5 each. A lot of people think that being vegan can be complicated, expensive, or bland, and I want to show you guys that this is so far from the case, so I challenged myself to go to the grocery store and spend less than $25 and use the products that I got in order to come up with five different recipes. Now I want to make this into a series, but for the first round I decided to go with a Mexican inspired theme, so here is everything that I got. I purchased a bag of brown rice, two cans of black beans, one can of refried beans, a bag of red onions, salsa, grape tomatoes, corn tortillas, frozen corn, a bag of limes, a box of organic mixed greens, though you could probably get regular greens and it would be less expensive, mini peppers, cilantro, and last but not least, one avocado. Now, before I get into these five different recipes, I just want to say that, yes, I do realize that each recipe is not $5 each, so technically it's not five meals or $5 each, but, you know, 25 divided by five is five, and five for five just sounds really catchy, but if you guys have another video uh, title or series name suggestions, let me know in the comments below and I can change it, but, you know, I just thought that was cool, okay? Also, obviously, grocery store prices are going to vary based on where you live, but I tried to get ingredients that I thought everybody would have access to and be able to purchase, and ingredients that are more affordable, but obviously feel free to cater the shopping list according to your needs, and you may already have some of these ingredients in your pantry, like the rice and beans, maybe even the salsa, which can make the overall price less expensive for you. Finally, be sure to let me know in the comments below what recipe theme you want to see next if I do another one of these videos, which I want to do it, so you should let me know. And be sure to subscribe to my channel using that little red button down there so you can get updated when I do post the next video. Okay, let's get to cooking. Wee! I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just, yeah. So first we're going to be making some refried bean taquitos. And the total cost for this meal is $2.10. So this recipe is actually super simple. You're just going to take half of a can of refried beans and four corn tortillas. And you're just going to scoop about a fourth of the refried bean mixture into the center of one tortilla. Then you're just going to roll it up. And I stuck some toothpicks in mine just to make sure they stayed while they were rolled um, and to help them keep that shape during the baking process. So after you've done all of the tortillas, you can put them on a baking tray and you're going to bake them in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 20 minutes. Then we're going to make some jazzed up salsa. So for this, you're just going to add some regular salsa with some chopped cilantro and the juice of one lime. And adding the cilantro and the lime to the salsa really, really helps to kick up the flavor and make something that's already kind of delicious, extra delicious. So after you've made the salsa, your taquito should be done. So you can remove the toothpick at this point and then you're just going to place them into a bowl with your salsa for dipping. And I decided to serve this with some of the mini peppers for some extra veggies. And that's it, super simple. Next, we're going to make some black bean tacos. And the total cost for this meal is $1.68. So first, we're going to be making some Mexican rice that we're serving with our tacos. This actually makes two servings. So you're going to add some brown rice and frozen corn to a pot, and then we're going to add cilantro stems, and these stems have just as much flavor in the leaves, but they hold up better in cooking. You're also going to add some salsa and a little bit of water. Then you're just going to bring this to a boil and cover and simmer according to the package instructions of your brown rice, but it should be for about 40 minutes or so. Then we're going to make some caramelized onions. So I just added a little bit of water to a pan with a thickly sliced red onion. And I just cooked this over about medium heat and put the lid on to allow it to steam and get a little bit more moist. And I just kept cooking it and cooking it until the onion was nice and soft and golden brown. And add more water as you cook it so it doesn't completely stick to the pan. 
Now to assemble our tacos, I put half of my Mexican rice into a bowl. Then I added two corn tortillas, as well as a small handful of mixed greens, half of a can of black beans that I rinsed and drained, as well as half of the caramelized onion, and about a tablespoon of salsa in each taco for some extra flavor. You could also use hot sauce as well if you have some on hand. But other than that, that's it for this recipe. Super simple, but still delicious. And next, we're whipping out the avocado to make a delicious burrito bowl. And the total cost for this recipe is $3.22. So for this, we're going to use the other half of the Mexican rice that we just cooked, as well as half of a can of refried beans. And you can choose to heat these up in a skillet or in the microwave, whatever is easy for you. Then in addition to that, we're going to be adding some cherry tomatoes, as well as some of our corn, which you can also heat up however you want to, if you want to plus some cilantro, half of the caramelized onion that we also cooked earlier, some salsa to add some extra flavor, and then finally half of our delicious avocado. This burrito bowl tasted amazing, and it's also way less expensive than going out to eat and buying a burrito from your favorite fast food chain. All right, and next we're going to be making a black bean taco salad with some crispy tortilla strips. The total cost for this meal is $3.03. So to start out, we're going to fill a bowl with some mixed greens. Then we're going to add half of a can of black beans that I rinsed and drained, as well as some tomatoes, some chopped cilantro, diced red onion, corn, and some of those sliced mini peppers that we got. And for our dressing, we're going to be using some of the salsa and the juice of one lime. And then I topped my bowl with some crispy tortilla strips. For that, I just sliced one tortilla into bite-sized strips and then broiled it in my oven for a few minutes until it was golden brown. And that is it for the salad. This one also packs a huge flavor punch and I love how it's so pretty and beautiful as well with all of the colors. And last but not least, we're going to be making some loaded nachos. The total cost for this meal was $2.74. So to start out, we're going to be making some lime flavored tortilla chips. So you're going to cut your tortilla into sixes or fourths if you want, and then squeeze the juice of one lime into a bowl. Then you're going to dunk each piece of the tortilla into the lime juice and place it on a baking tray lined with either parchment paper or a silicone mat. After you've finished dunking all of your tortillas, you're going to sprinkle it generously with salt to add a little bit of extra flavor to the chips. Then you're going to bake these in the oven for around 20 minutes until they come out nice and golden and crispy. So now for our nachos, we're going to be adding half of a can of rinsed black beans, plus some of our mini peppers. And just for the record, I'm using mini peppers here, but if you have regular sized peppers, those will work too. But anyways, now we're going to add some of our chopped cherry tomatoes, diced red onion, cilantro, a nice hefty drizzle of salsa, and then finally, last but not least, some avocado. We all know that's the real star of the show here. These nachos were so delicious, and even if you just want to try making the lime tortilla chips, I would highly recommend it. And that is it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative, and it showed you that even if you're using the same ingredients all week with a little creativity and plant power, you can eat something different and exciting every single day for five days at least. You could probably do seven if you were creative. I believe in you, you can do it. Anyways, be sure to let me know in the comments below which recipe you like the most, and give this video a thumbs up if you want me to continue this series. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! Five for five. Five for five. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm lame. Goodbye.